It opened on August 1 and closed on November 17, 2014, when the A431 road reopened. The road ran to the north of and parallel to Kelston Road, a part of the A431 road that was closed on February 17, 2014 due to a landslip. The entrepreneur was 62-year-old Mike Watts who followed a suggestion made by his wife. In September 2014, Watts applied to Bath and Northeast Somerset Council for retrospective planning permission for the toll road. Although a decision had been expected on October 3, it was delayed until the end of the month. Permission was eventually withheld, and it was reported that Watts could be facing losses because the A431 was to be reopened earlier than originally expected. He said that the toll road would now be dug up, and that within six months nobody would know the Kelston toll road had ever existed. As the toll road company had insufficient funds for the reinstatement works, the original builders of the road offered to do this at no charge. It was reported that construction of the toll road was likely to have caused damage to archaeological remains of medieval strip link hats, as a result archaeological investigations will need to be carried out during the reinstatement of the land in order to understand what was there and the damage caused.